avoid hypocrites at any price you know hypocrites hypocrites are the people Jesus had some issue with and Jesus he does not like hypocrites do you know who is a, a hypocrite is a person who can tell you I love you but deep inside they hate you and hypocrites are very dangerous people to have around so we must avoid to be hypocrites and hypocrites what according to Jesus it has to something to do with the people who want to make shows in the church when in the church in the synagogues those days when they have been asked when they are in the church they wanted to pray loud so that everyone can see that these people are praying hard so maybe they will be praised that they are great prayers because they shout when they pray you understand some people we have this kind of this hypocrisy even our churches that you see that some people are very busy at the show, at making shows they pray very loud and it also something to do with when they are asked to pray in the church they pray very long prayers they pray very long prayers so that they can be praised that they are Maybe they are, they love to pray so they can be praised for that, and they don't consider that this these their long prayers can also be uh, offending other people because the, when the people are in the in the church they or in the church they come they want to when they get tired they become offended. Maybe so you ruin other people because of your behavior of showing making shows in the church so make sure that you are not hypocrite when you are going to the church another thing about hypocrites is like the same thing that when they are going to the church they are praying long prayers and they are praying very loud the same thing when even they are at home they do the same thing maybe they are praying at home they shout even if night time when they wake up even if the neighbors will be wake up because of their prayers because they want the time when they are praying they can make even the neighbors to wake up so remember this hypocrisy is not a good behavior and god does not want you see these days people are going to mountain and when they go that mountain you are in mountain and you take a selfie and post on Facebook and they say that I am at mountain seeking the Lord. So why you do that? You are going to mountain because you want to be alone seeking God there. No one shall know that you are there in the mountain. It has to be between you and God. So make sure that you remember this. And some people Maybe they are not in the mountain, even if someone is at the, in the car, sitting at the car. They are praying, they are taking selfie and then they post on Facebook. Because you know everything, not everything that people are doing on, on Facebook we have to follow. So while you are praying to God and you are posting on Facebook to show the people that you are, you are, you are not praying to social media, you are praying to God. So remember this, all those people, what they are doing is because they want to make sure, they want it to be praised by people that they are good prayers. And that kind of prayers is that the Lord says that you have already got your reward, so you don't need to get any more reward. Some people, when they are going, when they are giving, even in the church, you kick it out, stand in front and say, today I have decided because I am going, I'm going to give one million to church, something like this. And people are praising. Yeah. So you don't do that because these kinds of giving is not. Those kind of giving is when you see the ungodly people outside the church. 
when they give they are doing that you can even hear see even on the magazines you can read on the or on the news that uh, someone has given a charity one million dollar or whatever it is those kinds of reward are not given like this in the church in the kingdom of god when you are giving to the kingdom of even if when you are giving to the poor it has to be between you and that person who has received the money and god and this is what you are going to be rewarded for you remember those days even jesus sometimes used to warn people about telling people about it but we cannot we think that it is good that if they tell everyone that i have given so that people will praise you and say that this is a good giver. Doing giving like this does not give you any benefit because it, you have already received your reward. You have already received your reward and you don't need to be rewarded for that. And the reason is that you are not being blessed of that kind of blessing because you have already been blessed by people. By the same thing when you're fasting you fast you write on facebook i am fasting today so or where you post on facebook or social media today you're past you're fasting it has to be between you and god i'm fasting for two days i'm fasting for three today i'm just in i am just in fast and prayer even when people are asking you hey what are you doing what are you going to eat ah you know i am fasting you got you feel like you want to so now you got the opportunity to uh to to brag yourself that you are fasting this kind this is what you have already received your reward when you're fasting it has to be between you and god even if you have to wash your face you know put oil on your on you know on your lips so nobody can see that you're fasting it has to be between you and god and you tell in the god this is how god will reward you when the god will see you in the secret that you're fasting that way not fasting you are telling everyone that you are fasting or you're fasting in the way that every everyone shall know that you're fasting because you every day when people see that you are your your mouth is dry you know i'm fasting you know or are you, you, you yeah you're, you 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 are i'm are you yes i am tired i'm fasting you know i've been fasting for several days you have already received your reward if you do that this is also hypocrites so hypocrites we have to we have to get rid of it so that we receive our rewards another type of hypocrisy is that we are so busy in observing other people's life other people's sins we are too busy in 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 observing the other people's sins you know the people that jesus was jesus had this problem with the issue with problem with the hype with these pharisees they were very busy at looking what jesus has as is doing so that they can bully him i mean they are very busy pharisees and the law these people the law the law the law followers or the law the law the lawyers they were very busy actually following jesus what they are doing so they are busy to see if jesus has broken the law so they will find something to say about him or something to do about him and he was always warning them because they are not busy at repenting their sins they are not busy at listening to what jesus was telling them so they can receive the mercy that jesus has brought to the world but they were busy at looking what he has done and the same thing we are also very busy at looking for what this preacher has done you understand instead of listening to what the preacher has told is talking 
and to so to be convicted with our sins and for, and to repent we are so busy talking about you know this man of god you know this man of god this see women of god so all the things sometimes we are coming to the point of hypocrisy this is a something topic maybe i'm going to talk again more because there it is the issue about in it so when you are is try to sh concentrate with your own sins your own inner self make sure that you make your tree good and your fruits will be good and this is something to do with that and when you pray go inside your bedroom alone when no one see you go to the secret place even if when you are praying, even if you are praying at work, if you are praying everywhere, don't need even to tell anybody, I am going to pray now. No, it has to be between you and God. Tell God, tell, you go there in the secret place. You lock yourself, talk to God in secret. You don't need to shout to be heard by God. Only if, even if you speak from your heart, God hears even if you whisper, God hears. So you don't need to shout. You don't either need to repeat the words so that your prayers be long. You need to make just only short prayers that are very easy prayers that you can make any place very short. Like Jesus has been teaching people to pray mm, like in you know the Lord's Prayer. You find it in in the Bible, the Lord's Prayer. You can also use it. Or you can also, you many times, it is very good prayer if you, you include it in your prayers, the Lord's Prayer. But you can also speak few words of your own. Don't make too many words because of that you don't need to. Don't need to repeat, repeat because that is not is not so necessary. Don't shout because also is not necessary. And even God think it's boring when you shout too high when you are praying. So make sure that you do right things so you receive your prayers, you receive your gifts, you receive the fruits of your fasting. And when you are giving, you get rewards of what you are giving. Make sure that we become good givers and give according to the word of God. So we must avoid hypocrisy at any price. I'm your sister Joyce and this is my YouTube channel. And this is my advice to you, a child of God. May God bless you so much. I pray that God bless you and increase you and make you conquer this world according to so you can receive your reward in the name of jesus amen